Well, this may sound familiar, a presidential election in which the economy is the number one issue. But this election is in France, and the polls say the incumbent is in trouble. Mark Phillips is in Paris. Like a boxer who knows he's losing the fight, Nicolas Sarkozy has come out swinging in these last days of this campaign. <laughs> he had angry exchanges with his opponent, Francois Hollande, during this week's debate. Hollande, Sarkozy says, is a dangerous man for threatening to reverse the budget-cutting measures France and Europe have adopted. Hollande says he can jumpstart the economy by spending more and taxing the rich. But Sarkozy isn't really running against Hollande, he's running against himself. He had promised the French a new deal, that if they worked harder and longer and demanded less from state welfare systems, they'd all be better off, the American model it was called. A lot of people, like Ruben El Mala, who runs a bar restaurant on the outskirts of Paris, took him at his word. Uh, for the last five years we work, uh, we have worked uh, very hard and we didn't we didn't see the money you know show me the money yeah show me the money yet style as much as substance may be sarkozy's problem a taste for the good life and a marriage to the glamorous carla bruni seemed at odds with a country being told to be less self-indulgent and he was seen to be living too well yeah. and yeah like a star you know he was living like a star <laughs> With Sarkozy's star fading, support for the far-right National Front soared in the first round of voting. How that vote splits in the runoff on Sunday is the key. This is the most coveted voting bloc in France. If the far-right National Front vote swings toward Nicolas Sarkozy, he stands a chance. If it stays home, he doesn't. And Francois Hollande would become only the second socialist president of France in more than 50 years. A man committed to free spending policies that are making the markets and the governments in Europe and the U.S. extremely nervous. Mark Phillips, CBS News, Paris.